Let's do it. What's up, JD Aliens? I'm back. Hey, I decided to drop a quick one because I don't know if you guys know this because I just found out myself this morning that Stadia now supports touch controls on your mobile phone if you have it on your mobile phone. I use a Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I know it's available for a lot of other Samsung phones and a lot of other uh, Android phones. You might not have it, I don't know, I can't control that, but what I do know is you can use touch controls. So in the continual fight to eliminate consoles, I mean, we got uh, an Xbox controller here, we have three Stadia controllers, and now we have mobile controllers. Uh, it seems like, you know, in, in this day and time, like, you know, playing video games on a gigantic screen, like I got a 120 inch projector screen that I play Stadia on a lot. So it makes total sense, right? To be playing on a gigantic screen or the biggest one you can find. But sometimes you just want to play on a phone or some kind of portable device that, you know, you don't have too much trouble carrying around and stuff like that. I get it, I totally get it. But my problem with mobile games is that there's so many ads and commercials that you gotta go through every time you wanna level up or do something, right? So along comes Stadia and then there's the Xbox, Xbox Game Pass, is it? Or something like that, Cloud X or whatever it is. I actually deleted that off my phone. I didn't care for it that much because it was slow and stuff. But you know, to each is their own, you know, Stadia is my thing. And luckily for me, I found out this morning that Stadia actually has uh, touch controls now. So yes, you can use a mobile controller. This is the, the GLAP controller, GLAP G1. You can use an Xbox controller if you have a, a mount for it. And yes, you can plug in and use the uh, Stadia controller, but you have to be plugged in and you gotta use that dang claw that they have. Well, maybe not, I don't know. But let's just say you didn't have any of that stuff with you. you can now play Division 2 and every other game with mobile, I'm sorry, with touch controls. It says right here, okay, so link your Stadia controller using an, a USB cable will save your place and game for five minutes. Or try the touchpad, let's try the touchpad. So you see them all kind of just populate there and it's laid out just like the Stadia controller. So you got your, uh, your Stadia button, then you got your menu and your three dots right there, your Google Assistant button and your screen capture. And the buttons are set up as close as possible uh, that they could get to the actual Stadia controller. Um, I'll be honest with you, man. I don't really like it <laughs> because, you know, you know, when you're playing games like this, these are a very elaborate games like Division 2 and then you got Ghost Recon and stuff like that. When you're playing like uh, first person shooter games, it's, you know, you, you need that. You need a controller, man, because I've tried to play Division 2. I suck at Division 2 with a controller. So just imagine how terrible this is about to look while I'm using this uh, touchpad right here. So let's get it loaded up. By the way, once again, Stadia is only good as your Wi-Fi connection and speeds because it just is what it is. That's what it's based off of. But the fact that they're making it uh, available on mobile phones and okay, so let me just get into this, get into some gameplay. So you got your L button right here, it's your joystick, then you got your right one. But I also discovered that if you just move anywhere on this right side of the screen, you don't necessarily have to pinpoint your touch to that joystick button right there. You can just kind of move on the screen. So let me see if I can find my way out of this gunfire free zone real quick. But as I was saying, uh, it tells me that, oh, where are we going, dude? Where's my little arrow? I told you, I am terrible at this game. I have not got enough practice. I just bumped that guy. He's probably all mad at me. Okay, I don't even know where I'm going, man, but <laughs> you know what, let me let me get out of this area and then I'll continue the video. Oh, there's my little arrow right there. There's my arrow. I'm making myself dizzy, so I apologize if you're getting dizzy watching this. Oh my God. Yeah, it's really hard to control. The controls are very sensitive and I don't see a place where you can kind of tone them down a little bit, but maybe that's just something I need to get used to. But back to my point I was trying to make before I made myself dizzy, the fact that they're adding touch controls to this tells me that hopefully someday, someday soon, they are going to let us play on mobile data. That's gonna be cool. When they can optimize this for mobile data playing, that's gonna be cool because you will not need a controller or to be sitting at a house or a hotel or a Panera Bread stealing Wi-Fi. You can just, man, when am I gonna get out so I can shoot something? This video is running a little long. Okay, now I got my gun. Okay, yeah. Okay, so now you can see where he can shoot. 
and you can actually aim and stuff like that. Let me reload. So you can aim just by tapping on the R2 and the R1 is right there, but I had a tr I had trouble figuring out where R3 was in case you needed to run. It's right there. R3 and L3 are right there. So I'm only gonna demonstrate this game because this video is already already taken longer than I wanted it to. But yeah, so you got touch controls right here. You got all the buttons laid out. You got all the Stadia controller buttons laid out right there. You even have your D-pad, uh, your, uh, your cross pad right there as well. So I'm really screwing up my status here. But that's Stadia on mobile gaming. Uh, it's, I think it's a great idea. It's not my favorite. I would rather have the controller for the types of games that Stadia has because they're pretty elaborate, but they do have some basic level games that you can play like Grid and stuff like that, where it's not too, you know, too involved with all the uh, precision and, and touch, you know, and stuff like that. But that just tells me that the next step is mobile data. So maybe we'll be playing on 4G or even 5G and unless it kills us first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trolling. Hey, man, I got to get out of here. I just wanted to share that with y'all real quick. I hope y'all have a great Saturday, and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?